from Milwaukee. This is today's TMJ4, live at 5. Right now at 5, a frantic hours-long search for two young girls on the streets of Milwaukee. Milwaukee police asked for the public's help to find the girls in what they called a critically missing case. Hours later, we were there as they were reunited with their families. Our Brandon Rook has the story. Brandon, emotions were running high. Well, Tom and Katie, this was truly a great outcome. The girls were missing for more than 18 hours. Detectives and family members worked tirelessly to find them, and our cameras were there for the emotional reunion. My baby at home, y'all. She coming home. Yeah, baby. Thank you. In the middle of our interview with Dominique Reynolds. Where were you, Nene? Nene. She was reunited with her nine-year-old daughter, Azaria. Where was you? Where were you? Azaria and her friend, 10-year-old Lene Bryant, were missing since last night. They were last seen near Pulaski Park on the south side. Milwaukee police sent out an alert labeling them as critically missing. So to understand everyone's joy, we have to go back to this morning when I first spoke to Dominique. Whoever come across Azaria or Lene, I just need you to bring them home. During those painful moments, she along with family, friends, neighbors, and police were relentlessly looking for these two girls. It's been a long, long 12 hours. So seeing them again, alive and well, means the world. I'm overwhelmed, I'm happy, I, I'm sad, I'm everything all wrapped in one. And now she can throw away the missing flyers she was putting up. Dominique tells me the girls were located at a friend's house on 19th and Grant. She adds the incident was a result of miscommunication as the girls were given permission from another adult family member to go to a sleepover. However, that information wasn't shared with either girl's family. She's just happy to have her baby back. I, I can't even describe it. I'm numb right now. My knees are buckling. Dominique and her family were also very grateful to the Milwaukee Police Department for finding the girls. You know, sometimes these types of situations don't turn out well. Every second counts. And these young girls are back with their families tonight. Katie. That is good to hear. Thanks, Brandon.